So I've made quite a few comments, videos, and we've spoken pretty extensively on my personal feelings about the two candidates. Now, um, <laughs> there's been a little bit of shade thrown to me by some pretty, pretty big names. Shout out to them. They doing it on the sly. Really slick. I appreciate you. Uh, even though we share different viewpoints. But I want to make something extremely clear that I'm a transparent individual and you will rarely ever have to question how I feel about anything. So with that being said, I want to have a real quick discussion about this ice cube topic, which seems to be a point of contention in our community currently. The first thing I want to say is ice cube cannot be canceled. Anyone even entertaining that thought cancel yourself. Copy. The second thing that I want to say, and, and the most important thing that I want to I want to make clear that I think many people are missing is this. What do you want? Do you just want Trump out of the office because of the problems that he has created while he's in the office or the problems that were already an American issue, which seems to bubble to the top of the surface because he is in office and because of the seat that he currently presides in and the power that having somebody who shares his view gives the minions of racism, bigotry, of separating our people from one another, the power that he gives these individuals. If your want to get him out of the office is explicitly for those purposes, I do not knock you. I would want him and I do want him out of the office for those same reasons. And there's a reason why I said I would and I do. Because I just want to make sure that we are clear. I in no way want Trump to be the president of the United States. I do not want Trump to be the president of, I don't know, going to the store to get the beer because we've ran out. I don't want Trump to be the president of anything. But the question is this. When we have somebody who creates a plan like Ice Cube had and who says that he wants to talk to the political parties and only one party speaks with him are we then to just assume that the other party does not like his proposals oh that's right the other party did not even want to listen to his proposals you see, this is the problem with a lot of the individuals who criticize Trump, even though often they are 100% right. They are correct. I'm not questioning the criticism of Trump. Trump needs to be removed from office. This is not hyperbole. He is one of the worst things going for America currently. But when our political figures who are supposed to have our back, our political figures who are supposed to want our best interest in mind, get spoken to or get called on by somebody like Ice Cube, who what a lot of people don't realize is wrote riot music. We look at N.W.A. and a lot of people say N.W.A. helped break down the fabric of America with the gang violence or whatnot that they spoke. But what a lot of people fail to realize is the FBI put them on a watch list for a reason. Because a lot of the things that N.W.A. were saying in their early years, and I'm not saying Easy e I'm saying N.W.A. was saying in their early years. It was political commentary and it was dead on. If you notice, after Ice Cube left NWA, their political commentary basically ceased. There's a reason for that because the political voice, the voice of NWA that spoke, that spoke 
about improving our people, about police injustice, about the things that's going on in our communities that were breaking us down. That was Ice Cube's voice. That's always been Ice Cube's voice. The point in which I'm trying to make is if Ice Cube shows up and says, look, we have a thing. This thing needs to be looked at. It's for the American black people or the black American people. It's something that needs to be taken acknowledgement of, even if it's something that you do not agree with. So for anyone that thinks that I want Trump to stay in office, you are 100% wrong. I do not want Trump to stay in office. I don't want his administration to stay in office. I don't want these guys, you know what, if it's possible after they're not president no more to just let them move to like the Caribbean and stay out there, let's go. But the problem and the issue is whenever we talk politics, people feel like they have to only be on one side or only be on the other. Once we decide to do that, we decide to not work with one another. Once we decide to not work with one another, we actually make progress more difficult so for anybody that's upset at my position let me just state my position right now for you so there could be no misunderstanding unless you know you thought the things that i said previous or prior to this particular statement was so innocuous that you decided to turn the video off but this is my position what are you going to do for black people I want to know and I want to know now. That's my position. So if you decide, you know what? We have to win the election. We have to get all the power before we'll even give you an inkling of an understanding of what we're going to do or before we'll even listen to what your demands are. That just... That just doesn't sound right to me. That doesn't sound like something that should be trusted. So for everybody that says Trump is just trying to use this to get the black vote, don't forget that he only had 8% his first time he got elected. He does not need the black vote. And for all of those others that say the Democrats are just trying to protect us, the Democrats can just easily go vote for the thing. Show us that Trump's bullshitting. Why not? Call his bluff. Call his bluff. Call that shit to the table right now. Vote it in. See what he's going to do. Why can't you do that? Is there a problem? Can black people only be saved by the Democratic Party? And if anyone else tries to save us, then the Democrats are going to be against them? Because that's what it sounds like. We need people to stop thinking so emotionally. Let your intelligence supersede it. Tell me the last time anyone even lied to the black people and promised them $500 billion. Put it in the comment section because I don't know a time. Right now is the perfect opportunity for the Democrats to do two things. Call Trump's bluff and get black people $500 million. Because you see... Trump might lie a lot, but Trump, his ego, his ego is as big as the solar system. There is no way in the world Trump is going to say he wants to do something. And then renege on it in a way or in a manner that's going to make him look like he's not the greatest person to ever be born. Trump thinks he's Jesus. Do you think for one second that if the Democrats said, OK, Trump, let's see if you're going to do this. You think he's going to back off of it? He's not going to back off of it. He's going to do it. So, Democrats, you can literally get us the five billion dollars and then still vote this guy out of office. Now, this is the thing I want to know about just period. Why are we so stuck on putting a man into office who's almost 80 years old 
and who at times seems like if he fell, he couldn't get up. 